this is a 720. Let's see who we are canceling today. Nah. Uh, nah, no. no, this. Nah, no, this can't be. No, this. This. This can't be. I refuse to do it. This can't be. This can't be happening. I just. I refuse to do it. I won't do it. I swear yeah. I just, I won't do it. I, I can't do it. I just swear I can't do it. They can't make me cancel you. They can't make me. What is going on? What is going on? Bro? Me cancel you, go. I'm pouring honey on you, go. Pouring honey on you, go. I swear that they can't, no. they can't make me cancel you, go. I'm pouring honey. <laughs> What's up with him? Bro? What Let's the fuck? Go. I'm pouring honey on you, go. I'm pouring honey on you. Be taking a knee to. I feel like we just went over this, but we've transferred it somehow to somebody the internet genuinely loves. YouTubers spend years building an audience and a community that loves them based off of the content that they put out. When you continue to provide quality content, sometimes you can brand yourself and you're rewarded with more views, more subscribers, more likes, all those things like that. But you're also rewarded with the opportunity of having people want to support you in other ways via sponsorships, via Patreons, and via merch. People love supporting content creators, but they do hate being sold to. Marquez Brownlee has gone a long time being controversy free. I would even say that as far as YouTubers go on my side of the internet, 20 I just I just didn't even know like what the scenario would be where he would be controversial. I don't I I just thought he was him. I thought he was uncancelable, man. He clocks in, clocks out, reviews phones, reviews tech and just that's 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 it, bro. Like how do you how do you f that up, you know? 24 has to be his year i saw him get like an honorary doctorate this year and then what's crazy is he even succeeded there by winning a gold medal in the world championships of ultimate frisbee literally all mkbhd does is review tech and have people buy into it somebody that a lot of the community has even decided is so trustworthy that when he did his own fisker review it sent the company up in arms and bankrupt i reviewed a car had a pretty horrible experience with it documented it published their review on the autofocus channel and then a few months later the entire company appears to be on life support like likely filing for bankruptcy soon but now mkbhd is doing what a lot of other content creators and youtubers do and joining the fray and I promise you it's not even that deep he's offering a wallpaper and people are hating him for it you guys have always been asking me where i get my wallpapers like it's frequently the number one suggested search result under my name has been for years so now we've put them all in one place it's called panels and it's finally live in the app store both on ios and on android feels really good to be able to say that so if you're wondering where the wallpaper on these phones in the review came from panels if you're wondering where the wallpaper in the last video came from panel chat y'all paying for wallpapers me hell no let me just say that up front hell no <laughs> i'm making my own before i do that shit Matter of fact, almost all of the wallpapers on the devices and in backgrounds you've seen in my videos for the past year have all come from panels, which is pretty sick. We have a bunch of awesome artists over there that we are splitting profits with 50-50, and there's already a ton of great collections of art and much more incoming. And we have some pretty big plans for this thing. So it's starting off as a wallpaper app now. I don't want to overpromise too much, but it's going to be pretty consistently improving over time, which is part of the reason why we're offering a subscription to support it. Personally, I've never been crazy about having wallpapers good, on my phones. It's never been something that I've liked. I used to sell wallpapers, man. I don't know if y'all remember this, because this was years ago. I used to, uh, I used to make wallpapers for people, like custom ones though, custom ones. I, I had this, uh, I had this theme. I don't even know if I still have it, where it'd be like five columns of like five of the most inspirational people to me. So I think it was like Isaiah Thomas, Kobe Bryant, um, I don't know, like three other people, right? And I was like, yo, I'm going to make wallpapers for people. You give me the people you want, you pay me five bucks, and I'll give you the wallpaper. It was a calm little, calm little side hustle. It was cool. It was cool. But, yeah, no, I've, I've, I've made a, I made a buck off of selling wallpapers before had to have the best of the best and i've always known it as to be like a battery killer a time waster that part of the phone aesthetic doesn't do anything for me hell the color of the phone doesn't do anything for me either so i've never put too much into it but to be honest with you this is mkbhd taking another step into his tech journey and i'm gonna support it to be honest with you just because of who he is i'm gonna go ahead live here and download the panels app panels 
Simple as this. I just don't even understand why this is such a big deal. And just like that, I went ahead and downloaded the app. The fact that it's free is insane to me that people are having at least get $100 on Mar. God damn, sha boing boing. <laughs> God. so many issues and we could talk about their I'm other saying, I'm saying it's because I see there was a subscription fee but i don't understand why it's so hard to support a creator in this this simplistic fashion like all he did was say download his app I, I don't even understand why that's crazy the app is pretty simplistic as i go through it it's asking you to select five artists that you want to see on your home feed because i guess later on people will be able to you know go into it it doesn't look like they half asked this app at all it not nah, this literally sounds like an ad <laughs> Hey. Hey. Looks like they actually put some care into it and the fact that I can just get a wallpaper in two seconds by watching an ad and unlocking the standard version. I don't understand why this is something that's killing the people on the internet. So in surprising online drama news was actually one of the most requested stories today. MKBHD, AKA Marquez Brownlee is coming under fire and it doesn't appear that everyone is on his side this time, right? And that because a lot of people have said he just released a shame. You know what's crazy? I don't think he'd get any flack if the Dan TDM KSI lunch leash shit didn't happen the same week. Like, for real, for real, if this happened, like, three weeks ago, this would not be as big as it is. But, and, and I, I, I need to come up with a term for this, bro. Because it's not cancel culture, but it's, like, using certain shit that you don't care about as, like, a, a, a bouncing point. Like a, a springboard to get like your overarching shit off. I need to come up with a word for that, bro. Because that's essentially what the fuck this is, bro. Ah, there's been a conversation about YouTubers selling bad products, overpriced products. MKBHD puts out something the same week. And now people are using it to get off their shit on both sides of the fence. Is it collective outrage? Creator policing, grifting, bouncing point? I got to come up with a term for it, bro. But ultimately, essentially what I'm saying here is motherfuckers do not care about this app. I'm going to be honest with you. Saying Marquez Brownlee is getting canceled is is a lie because he's not getting canceled. Like, there's a difference between, in my opinion, getting canceled and just getting criticism. Him, him, him and everything he's going through is more so criticism. But I do think this is a case of like... This is just building off of the Mr. B shit. It's not really about Marquez. Seamless cash grab. With this coming from him launching an app called Panels, which offers curated wallpapers for iPhones and Android. With him writing yesterday, I'm so pumped to be launching this app. People have asked where I get wallpapers forever, so this is the answer. Now and forever, Panels. So let's do this quick overview. First and foremost, it's an iPhone Android application, right? There's a two-tier system. One side of the system, you can unlock standard definition wallpapers and stuff like that if you watch a 30-second ad. I literally watched it in the midst of me doing this, and I have a wallpaper on the app in standard definition. If you wanna unlock the high definition version of these wallpapers, you have to do a $50 annual subscription or $4 a month to get HD downloads. There's a 50-50 split when it comes to MKBHD and the app creators and the artists who are contributing to the platform as far as profits go. And apparently there are gonna be some more features coming into the future. I literally don't get it. He's been getting a lot of backlash from people saying that the price of the app is overpriced, it's full of ads and it's underwhelming in design and functionality. And to be honest with you, it sounds like this isn't just for you if you're a person who doesn't care about high quality wallpapers then that's you i myself find myself on that side of the aisle too but that's why i'm not even entertaining this conversation for the most i, I said this on the podcast and i'll say it on stream just so so youtube can hear my take on this bro one y'all are bored and two out of all the things to complain about in terms of how they're priced who's selling what I'm telling you, a YouTuber making an app for wallpapers where there's a free version and an optional paid version is the last thing, the last thing to complain about. When house prices are what they are, I swear to God, if all this energy just went towards talking about the fucking housing crisis more, I swear we would be a much more productive society. If we wanted to talk about how expensive fucking healthcare is in this country, because again, I, I said on the pod, and I'll say it again for the stream. I just ask out of curiosity. I got a prescription uh, this 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 week, and I just ask like, yo, hypothetically, like if I didn't have insurance, how much would this be? 
He told me, yeah, this is going to cost you a thousand bucks a month without insurance. A thousand? A thousand a month? And mind you, that's what a lot of things when it comes to, like, hospital bills, bro. Like, the difference between the price with you getting in, w w when you have insurance and not, is hundreds if not thousands of dollars, bro. You talk about the, the prices of, like, necessary shit. I, would, I, would, I wouldn't even be mad if motherfuckers were still complaining about the price of, ga uh, price of gas. You know what I'm saying? Price of groceries. Price of rent. But we're talking about the price of an optional app? Of all things, an optional app for wallpapers? Shut the fuck up. Shut up, bruh. Please. Part. I don't know how overpriced this thing could be four dollars a month for an unlimited supply of wallpapers in which the profits are going to be split with the artist is I, that's a great that's a great offer I don't know that's a great offer people are saying that the app isn't robust enough in order to justify the price that they have but I can only think of with all the advancements that iPhones are getting with the new iOS that's come out and the new customization features that you can do with the icons and stuff like that I'm pretty sure this won't just stop at wallpapers but because MKBHD has put I think like 12 years or 15 or 12 honestly he's putting a lot of years into content creation and people have continuously asked him how do I get this how do I get this how do I get this he found a way to streamline this and test out potentially what could be a new venture for him at the same time while delivering what his audience actually wants. Now, I will say this because these are parts where I do side with the mob in MKBHD's new app. MKBHD has been known in the past to talk about how you should not lean into. Some, someone mentioned in the chat, Pokemane, my queen Pokemane is insane, by the way. But even then, I, th I think when we were talking about the situation on stream, I was still kind of like defending her on some. I mean, these are fucking cookies like... The fuck are we even talking about here, man? New apps that are promising future updates and saying that in the future more things will come because they should be delivering those things now. Product based on the future promise of updates to it. And I do want to give them a little bit of grace here because this is a smaller project that doesn't have the infrastructure that a lot of the bigger projects have that promise these future updates. I think there's a total difference between MKBHD and the apps and developers and the backing that he has making an app and putting out future promises versus like a PlayStation or an automobile company. I think those are two different things. He was very harsh with Fisker when they announced some similar type situations, but I think that they should and would have more backing than MK. KBHD does. Um, he's blowing up social media. He's got all the senior management from Gita Fisker down. Because he's talking crap on the Fisker, right? Yeah. Yeah, I know. It's my Fisker. So you want to talk to him and see if you can... And, and, and this is my thing, too, with this whole situation. If you want to criticize the app, obviously do whatever the fuck you want. But it's the... See, this is why YouTubers shouldn't be selling shit part that, like, bothers me about all of this. It goes back to the term that I'm trying to think of right now. Is that, again, you don't care about the app itself. You don't even care about MKBHD. This is just a jumping point for you to shit on YouTubers trying to make their own brands and sell their own products. That's what it is, bro. You don't care about this, dude. You don't care about the app. You just don't. I'm um, down or something? Because I was about to completely redeploy to go out and fix this car for him and update all the software. It's my car. Um, if you want to come and update all the software, that's fine. You guys have already sent someone out to us before. Yeah, and no, Jordan. No, no, no. Ignore him. Um, nothing ever happened. It's, it's, never fixed it. Never fixed it. That's why I'm coming out. One of the senior field service engineers. If you could just share this guy's information, I'd be grateful. MKHVD, whatever he is. That does. I'm going to have to reach out to my contact and ask him if I could share his information. I don't I'm... need it. If you're getting the car back, it's, it's a new point. If he owned the car, it was a different kettle of fish. He doesn't own the car. You do. You're the customer. Correct. So my job is to take care of you, the customer, not a mouthpiece. This 2.0 software. Yeah. It will fix a lot of problems, but it's not the holy grail of fixing Fisker. That I'll be he messy for recording this, though, because other dude definitely don't know he's being recorded, but I feel it, though. My candid it. about. Still got some holes in it. We still got some more software to redo, but it will make the car markedly improved. So if you could just let me know who this kid is, I'm going to fire an email into senior management. 
Let them know I've spoken to you. Let them know that it's your car. I'm going to be a little biased in this conversation. I can't deny it. The big question is, how will this impact MKBHD going into the future? Now, I will admit the contradictions are very, very glaring. Like, you have a principle that you stand on. And as somebody who is a trusted tech reviewer, I think it is very important that people can trust you and your opinions and not have you contradict yourself when you put out your own passion projects. But I think that there's something bigger to be said in this because ultimately this is just MKBHD's passion project or not even really a passion project. He likes cool wallpapers. His fans have been asking how to get the cool wallpapers and he's been trying to create an avenue in which he can get great artists who put out great work onto people's phones, people's laptops, etc, etc. Now there have been people diminishing the quality of the app. This Twitter user said the panels app is very I, I, I don't even i won't even stretch it to that bro okay bsg trying to get to a bag and i i think it's fine for creators to make money grabs bro like I'm, I'm i'm gonna be honest with you i think it's fine for creators to do shit to to make money i'm gonna try to get to the money i don't i don't know bro like if you feel like you're getting scammed that's that's one thing obviously but bro we can't make apps now like what the fuck poorly made and all payments are verified on client side links to all wallpapers hd slash sd are preloaded right after the app is launched all you need is basic mitm skills to get them for free the file with links isn't authenticated or protected at all then goes on to say that's literally it search for dhd to get full resolution files thanks to at user for confirming that subscription info is indeed not stored on their Firebase at all. To be honest with you, that's just totally hate to me, honestly. What you're doing here is taking money out of pockets of artists who rightfully deserve it. Now, I'm all for piracy, because that's just the way that I personally believe, but in an opportunity that will cost you minimum dollars in order to support people, I don't see why it's such a big deal. I think that the criticism of the app construction is valid, and it's something that MKBHD could do to fix in the future, but as far as making an avenue for people to get their content i don't even understand why this is crazy i think what it really boils down to is that people disrespect digital art as a whole and they think that they should be able to get it for free because it exists on the internet they shouldn't have to pay for it there should be some sort of workaround and i'm gonna try my darndest to create a workaround for it i'm not even gonna give that guy the time of day because ultimately somebody's gonna be a pirate i'm gonna make you work a little bit harder for it than just displaying it on my channel and honestly i don't support that in which mkbhd is trying to provide a way for him to test out things that he can possibly do chase his passion projects go down the tech rabbit hole and artists are trying to get paid and compensated for the art that they put out i'm not going to make it easier for you guys to pirate their content i think that that's kind of lame and people feel like this is mkbhd selling out for a big bag i would have to disagree god i'm gonna sound like a defender I, and maybe i am but i just think glaze, that this is glaze, glaze. In a year in which he's chasing all of his passions is just chasing another passion i think that these are separate incidences from other content creators putting out you know their own sort of products their own sort of snacks and being a thousand percent deceitful going to mike's lying and stuff like that and saying that they're rebranding something or doing something that is a hundred percent that's that's my main thing too like if, if we're literally uh, we're just calling everything a sellout if this is a sellout like to me a sellout is like letting go of your morals to to get to the bag right like you don't care about your morals you just want to get to the bag you don't care about your fan base you just want to get to the bag i think making a wallpaper app is not selling out bro i just don't the same the same way making merch is not selling out but for some reason merch is different from a wallpaper app to y'all like i don't know bro. dishonest in order for them to get a bag like that whole pokimane situation where she sold cookies that were really somebody else's cookies and then going out and telling said audience that they are broke for not buying her cookies after also acknowledging that she damn near took the whole recipe for another cookie company's cookies people found these really really old oh images I, I forgot that was the problem with her shit though <laughs> she was she was calling motherfuckers broke I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I forgot. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I forgot that was a big thing. Because she was like, if you just broke, just say that. Product shit, that yeah. looks similar to ours. We work with the same manufacturer. Yeah. And it existed for one sample batch. And mm -hmm. it was like sold at a Costco months and months and months ago. Mm -hmm. And they didn't want to use that recipe. But even that, let me, let me say this. If she didn't say that, I still wouldn't have a problem with her um making cookies even if they were a copied fucking product of, of something else that already exists bro that exists like what the fuck do y'all think great value is like
y'all y'all have definitely bought dupes before like this this is just a thing that that business people do i don't i don't i don't know bro like this is not the first time this has been done you know what i'm saying like imagine trying to make a fucking hershey's chocolate bar competitor and you make a chocolate bar like i don't I don't know, bro, like... Anymore? Mm -hmm. So when we started working with this manufacturer, we taste tested a bunch of stuff of theirs. So we took that recipe and we refined it a lot. I like, oh my God, $28 for cookies? It's four bags. That's seven, seven dollars a bag. I know, I know math is hard when you're an idiot, but uh, if you're a broke boy, just say so. Oh, yeah, this yeah you... that, that's where she fucked up. That's where she fucked up. This I remember says, now. I remember this now. reeks of the good old grift where a random shitty company approaches an influencer and pays them to push XYZ garbage while the influencer sits there and pretends like it's some dream project we've been working on for a long time type shit. To be quite honest with you, in this instance, I would have to say, so what? Especially because we're talking about somebody who is honest, trustworthy, and has given a lot to the community as MKBHD. If this is something which his audience clearly connects with, which have been his wallpapers and his backgrounds then i don't see any problem with him teaming up with a company like this that may be putting something out down the line i don't know how big this bag had to be but them branding themselves as content creators is not a problem like content creators attaching their names to things like this to me is not a problem and this is obviously a huge community in the app store and in mainstream society today people love these wallpapers and shit so if this can be an mkbhd branded project i don't see the problem with it I saw KSI hop into the I, don't, I will say this not to throw bail at Pokemon. I just I just don't get the whole complaint uh, specifically when it comes to optional things that you don't need in life, right? Like again, if we're if we're complaining about the the price of houses, the price of fucking medication, that's fine. But complaining what a business prices their product as just does not make sense to me. Like, if it's overpriced, just acknowledge that it's overpriced and keep it pushing. You know what I'm saying? To, to bitch about what the price of it is just is it, a waste of time to me. It just is. Like, even when you see fucking, I don't know, creators doing courses out there, they're selling the course for $3,000, $4,000. Okay, you think it's overpriced. Keep it pushing. Someone, like, that's, that, that's their product, right? The market will dictate how successful that product is anyways. And if no one's going to buy their shit then hey, maybe they are going to lower the price, but that's on them. Like, who the fuck cares? Like, who the fuck cares? I don't, I don't know. Same thing with like, I don't know. Like, let's say, let's say, let's keep it up, put, puts out merch and we price a t-shirt for like $90. You, you, you can't afford it. You think it's overpriced? Okay. Just say that and keep it pushing. Like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know, bro. I don't know the same conversation where he quote tweeted marquez brownlee getting canceled on drama alert saying what happened to youtubers man i can't say anything anymore this is selling stuff for the sake of making money simple how does this benefit their fans this is selling crap to kids who don't know better than to trust the people who are selling it to them do better dot 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 ksi goes on to say some dumbass youtuber said this exact same thing to me the other day rather than complaining crying and trying to cancel a youtuber for creating a product here's an idea if you don't want slash like a product just don't by it. Now, the person that follows up in that same thread echoes some sentiments that I personally have specifically about KSI. Genuinely the worst rebuttals to this issue that I've ever seen. You're not a salesman. You're a YouTuber with influence. Be a big boy and take a bit of responsibility instead of selling sugar juice and falsely advertised food. I think that those conversations are totally different. Now, do I believe capitalists are going to capitalize? Absolutely. And of course, but what I think MKBHD is doing, selling wallpapers for a phone that you don't necessarily need. And if you search a little hard enough you can find it on your computer or if you wanted to you could just create them on your own or if you wanted to you could patronize the artist directly there's so many workarounds and something that is not going to harm you is totally different than what ksi logan paul mr beast and pokimane have done where they have sold snacks and falsely advertised the contents and ingredients in the snacks that can ultimately affect people's health by pumping kids filled with electrolytes sugars and other bad things have them sit in their classrooms on their butt it, it is different but ultimately Ultimately, I, I still think it's the same thing. 
Like, uh, I don't think any of this is worth complaining about, like, for, for the record. That's all day in a generation that is the most inactive that it's ever been ever. And I hate to be this guy. People don't have the same gripes when big companies put out these cash grabs. It's because people feel like they have this parasocial ass relationship with this content creator because they've watched them for years and years and had a direct face to it. But in any other instance, they would shut the hell up and consume whatever's being put out there based on whatever company it is. These people aren't mad when Nike sells subpar products and ups the price on these things. These people have blue ch I'm gonna disagree with that one. I will say that. I think there's still a level of, a, a different level of perception. But, hey, motherfuckers have been complaining about the quality of Jordans for years. People have been criticizing the quality of fucking Chipotle over the last two years. What happened to Chipotle? Type shit. McDonald's, same thing. You know what I'm saying? Hell, people complain about iPhones. Like, ah, uh, they're not doing shit, so, hey. Check marks people from Twitter. Have bitch, these people man. have Amazon Prime. These people have their favorite team's logo slapped on a $2 t-shirt and have an upcharge of $58, $60 of it. They don't have any problem with doing that. But when a content creator tries to brand themselves, they have a problem with it. I oh, brother. What it seems like to me is that people do have an issue with content creators making money outside of this regular content way. But people do have to eat. People do have to survive. People do have to grow. People do want to do different things in their lives. And you have to let them do that. And I'm not going to lie to y'all. I will not let MKBHD get canceled based off of some baloney like this. Like, I don't even think it's going to happen. But he is a very trustworthy and thorough reviewer. Somebody that I actually enjoy. Somebody that takes their craft very, very seriously. And I might sound like an MKBHD Avenger, but my God, he is living my dream. Cape for him any day of the damn week. I ain't gonna cancel him for me. <laughs> that's funny, man. Hey, I'm a Glazer too. That's that's my goat right there. Actually, uh, top three, top three. Casey Nice, that's my goat. Casey Nice, that's my goat. But yeah, man. Shout out to MKBHD.